So remember to slam the ball down as well. So slam it right down, really rotate. There you go. That's it, well done. Do you want to do the singles? Yep, singles, one, two. Yep, and then speed, double speed. So double arms now, but speed. Yep, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. is a dumbbell floor press. This is also an accessory exercise to help you improve your bench due to the limited range of motion, okay, and also having to explode up, okay, so it's going to make you stronger and push up skips and also bench, okay, so, double overhand, pronated grip, okay, the arms are locked, okay, I breathe in on the eccentric, the elbows just come down, they're not flared out, just coming down to there. Then I exhale hard and explode up. So I breathe in, control the eccentric, one, two, and I pause for one, and then I power up for one. Okay? So the tempo, one, two, one, one. And again, one, two, one, one. Last one. One, two, one, one. Okay? Let's jump the dumbbells. Oh, so slow the eccentric. Power up, good, and again, big deep breath, and breathe out, good. So again, the tempo, one, two, one second pause rep, power up, good, and again. Brilliant, power up, one, two, one, one, good, and again, one, two, one, one, and again, let's go, one, two, one,
Yep. yep. Okay. The slow, the eccentric. Slow, slow, slow. Power. And again. Slow, slow, slow. Power. So try the initial push phase from the floor. Good. So now, now try coming from the floor. Fast up. Up fast. There. Slow. Up fast. Good. And again, slow. Up fast. There you go. So put it all together now. Single leg glute bridge. Go so lower and raise the hips as high as you can and lower. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. So great for your bum, great for your hamstrings, great for your core. And again, breathe in and breathe out. Drive the hips up. Good. And again, breathe in, breathe out, drive the hips up. Good. Good. Let's try and raise the hips a bit more. Good. So static hold isometric side unilateral plank. That's it, keep that core tight. And tight. go so retract drive try and control those dumbbells a bit slow it down a bit so control drive fully extend fully extend at the top try and hold them at the top that's better and again good keeping those elbows raised okay try and keep those dumbbells a bit closer together at the top there that's better good keep those elbows raised keep that time and attention Good, and again, brilliant. And keep the core tight as well, okay? The core should all... Yep, okay, so we're gonna move on to isolation now, so the biceps, okay? So we're seated, keep the core engaged, okay? Keep the elbows locked, okay? That will work to extend, okay? So flex, and up just like that, okay? So it's a bicep curls, okay? So flex, and extend. Flex, squeeze at the top, next step. Flex, squeeze at the top, and next step. Just like that. Okay, get this out of the way. I'm going to isolate the tricep. Obviously, any push movement, the tricep's going to be working. Okay, we need to isolate as well, especially to look after our joints. Okay, so, we're going to grab the dumbbell, like that, behind the head, keep the chest up. Okay, you're going to breathe in, and then breathe out, full step. So again, same movement with reverse, the hinge. So the elbow joint is a, is a hinge joint, okay? It's like that. Extend, three, two, one, extend, three, two, one, extend. Again, keep the core engaged, just like that. And then to drop, drop on the shoulder, and just put it back down. Yeah, so starting up. Yes, yeah, doing. Bring it out, and then right, right up. Back down, out. So obviously I'm keeping the dumbbell up to keep the tension on the shoulder. Back out, rotate, drop, and 
drive, so you breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, yeah? Okay, so you keep it up, keep the tension on the whole time, so it's not going down, keep it like that, yeah? This exercise is going to work for the tricep, the shoulders, okay? Also the balls can be the stabilizer, okay? So the palms are going to be flat, okay? The feet at 90 degrees, okay? So the knees at 90. Come down, breathe in, 3, 2, 1, drive up. Or you can come up to your heels to make it harder, okay? Drive down, 3, 2, 1, and almost to 90, drive up. Or you can come down, Three, two, one, pin hitch to get more of the glutes and the posterior chip chain Okay, also you can do a unilateral. Okay, three, two, one, drive up. Okay, so just remember to breathe. Three, two, one, drive up. So the first stage with the knees bent at 90, this is the easiest version. The elbows are coming to 90, so tuck those elbows in a bit. There you go, that's better. Good. So you're breathing in on the way down on the eccentric, breathing out on the concentric. Good. Okay. So the next one, you're going to put the heels straight. Okay, this is, there's going to be a lot more core activation now due to the stability factor. Okay, good. And again. Three, two, one. Power up. Good. And again, breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Keep that core tight. Good. Okay, so the next one is we'll do the hip hinge. Okay, so keeping the leg in the same position. Okay, so you're going to drive, drop the pelvis and raise the pelvis. So posterior tilt, anterior tilt. Good, squeezing the glutes at the top. Good, and again, well done. Again, the core is activated the whole time. Well done. So pronate, supinate. So you can see the elbow is not coming all the way back, it's just staying tucked in at the torso. Breathe in, breathe out, and again, squeeze. Breathe in, breathe out, and again, breathe in, breathe out, good.
deep breath, squeeze. So close grip now, working more on the tricep of the shoulder. Keep it tight, nice. Again, 36. So 36 kilograms wide grip, yep, up. And again, breathe in, brace, breathe out. And again, breathe in, brace, breathe out. Good. That's at 36 kilograms. Squeeze, and again, so into the hammer grip now. And again, squeeze, and again. Three, two, one. Squeeze, nice. So we're at 45 uh, kilograms for pulling. Squeeze at the top and again. Big deep breath, fully extend. Squeeze at the top and again. Big deep breath, fully extend. Squeeze at the top and again. Big deep breath. Two, one, one, and again. One, two, one, one. And again, one, two, one, one. There, nine. Two, one, pause ten. Pause eleven, and again. Good, so. Single arm shoulder raises, good, and again, breathe in and breathe out, good, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, do you want to try the other arm? Oh, good, breathe out, good, breathe in and breathe out, good, and again, breathe in, breathe out, and again, breathe in and breathe out, and again. Do you want to try both arms now, yeah? Okay, so power up, good, breathe in and breathe out. Good, and again, keep those elbows to 90, keep the tension, breathe out, and again, breathe in, and breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and side. Seven, good. So this is to aid with the upward phase of the bench press, where the triceps are activated. Three, two, one. Again, the elbows are still tucked in, they're not flared out. Hey, right. bro. Good. Okay, so we've got the regular crunch, yeah? Are we ready? Okay, so crunch. And again, okay, three, two, one, crunch. Just slow that eccentric. So three, two, one, and crunch, good. And again, three, two, one, crunch. Okay, so do you want to try the oblique variation now? Okay, so you're going to turn to your side. <coughs> so, and then you're going to put your elbow up there, sit there. So that's part there you're working now, yeah? Okay, are you all right? Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Okay, you ready? There we go, good. And again, three, two, one. And again, crunch, try it, good, and again, three, two, one, crunch, good, and again, three, two, one, crunch, good. So we'll try the other side now, okay, so switch. Okay, and let's go. Crunch, and again, let's go. Big deep breath, and drive up, good, and again. Good. So this is great for the chest, shoulders, and also for the obliques due to the lateral rotation of the spine. Good, so control and drive. Good, do you want to try? And let's go, let's drive, good. Fully extend, so control, drive, fully extend. Time, do you want to try the other side? Good, really rotate, rotate. Good, you want to try the overhand grip? So try and bring that right foot out a little bit more so I see your hips. So try your knee to face me. Is that all right? There, so we get more core activation. And again, let's go. Good. So you're isolating the quadricep in a single leg movement, yeah? Okay. So single leg extension, isolating the quadricep. Good, and again. So control the eccentric, power up. So the tempo, one, two, one, one. And again, one, two, one, one. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, squeeze at the top. Good, so hamstring isolation now. Again, unilateral. Same tempo as the leg extension. Okay, so one, two, one, one. Good, and again, one, two, one, one. Squeeze at the top. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, breathe in and breathe out. Good, power, one. One, two, one, one, power. And again, one, two, one, one. Power. Good. Okay. So, standing in front of the box about 
Jurassic Park, okay, arms out, classic extension, posterior tilt, chest up, okay, so breathe in, arms out for stability, and slowly sit back in, drive back up again, okay, so breathe in, and breathe out, drive from the heel, okay, and again, breathe in, breathe out, notice as well with the knee, it's 90 degrees, okay, one, two, like that. Move forward, knee, okay, and sit back and drive it back up. Okay, so that will improve your squat as well. That's it, well done. Remember to breathe in and then breathe out. So slow the eccentric, power up. Good, and again. So slow and then explode up. Good, and again. Again, not just a leg exercise, a brilliant core exercise. Any body weight exercise, your core is a stabilizer. Okay, good. Push it through the heel. Nice, and again, big deep breath. Okay, so we're going to do a single arm. This is more athletic, double arm, okay? We've got more core activation, and we're also rotating the spine, okay? So, if you use your left arm, you have to use like a boxing south core stance. Your right foot would be forward, your left foot would be facing out. Okay. My left arm would be fully extended, I'd get enough tension, so it's pulling me forward, of course having to work harder. Okay, so I breathe in, breathe out, so I rotate, tuck the elbow in, squeeze. So fully inhale, fully extend as well, and then fully exhale and squeeze. Okay, so that would be for your left arm. For your right arm, you switch stance to the boxing orthodox stance. So my left foot will be forward, my right foot will be out. I fully extend the arm, squeeze. Tip the elbow in, I breathe in. I breathe it out, I squeeze. I tip the elbow in. Okay. So the muscle groups we're working are the rhomboids, the rear delts, okay, and all of the core. So this is going to help our posture. Okay, let's go. Good, and again, let's go. Breathe in, breathe out, squeeze. And again, breathe in, breathe out, good. So we're getting a rotation of the spine, but also working the important rhomboids, rear delts, okay? The postural muscles. Good, do you want to try the other side? Okay, so you're going to move into the orthodox stance now. Okay, so left foot forward, right foot back, fully extending the right arm, tucking the elbow in. Fully inhale, good, and again, inhale, exhale, really dig that shoulder in, okay? So you're digging the elbow in, good, and again. That's it, really squeeze. Good, so the elbow's not coming too far back, it's just digging in nice to the torso, okay?
the sense, okay? So this is really good work to get that car fired up. This is gonna help you with squats, deadlifts, and lifts as well. That's it, do you want to try the other side? That's it, lock those arms, stick that butt out, keep that chest up. Thoracic extension, now the core's engaged. Okay. Good, you see how the band's tied up as well. Okay. Good, and let's go. Good, full extend, control, power. Slow it down a bit on the way down, and then power. Good, so like the elastic band effect. So you're winding the band up, bang, power up. Good, so control, power, good. So excellent for upper chest, delts, obliques. Good, a more athletic variation, okay. So remember to explode back up as well. So control, power, bang, back up. There we go, and again, control, good. Control, control, power. Good, and again, power, be explosive. Control, control, power. Good, you've got it, and again, power. Yep. Okay, so we're going to hit it the posterior trade so the hamstrings and the glutes, okay? Cause the massive we're going to be activated due to the stability factor, okay? So this is the T bar. Single leg and the other side. Left leg stays Hold the T-bar over the right arm. Okay. So we're going to use it as a pivot. Okay. So push through the left heel. Okay. Put the left arm on for stability. Okay. So as the left bar falls, okay, we raise the left leg at the same time and then drive it. Okay. Push it again. So, Posterior bone tilt, anterior bone tilt. So the arms and the leg are going together. Okay? All the stabilizing muscles. Okay? So we breathe in, push it forward, breathe out. Okay? Breathe in, push the heel, breathe out. Okay? Breathe in, breathe out. Also, the important thing to remember is not the symmetry. Breathe in, brace. That will stabilize your body and then breathe out. Okay, so we breathe in and breathe out. One more time. Breathe in, breathe out. So I can feel that. Okay, you ready? And let's go.
shoulder so much, slightly to the side on, a little rotation of the spine, so work at the oblique, so the box looks very really good for the core conditioning. Try the hip hop, 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 hip